If you're running a 5M server, you've probably experienced lag, stuttering, or scripts randomly breaking. Today, I'm showing you the built-in diagnostic tools that every server owner needs to know, Resmon and F8 console commands. These tools will help you identify performance issues, troubleshoot script problems, and keep your server running smoothly. You cannot see 5M tools by default. To enable them, relaunch your game client. Go to settings, game, and change to beta version. Restart your game client again and your tools will be accessible. First, let's understand what Resmon is. It's a client-side tool, meaning it measures performance on your computer, not on the server itself. Resmon shows you how much processing time each script is using on your machine. Here's why this matters. If you want 5M to run at 60 frames per second, your computer has exactly 16.66 milliseconds per frame to process everything. All scripts, rendering, physics, everything. The base game and 5M processes already consume a large portion of this frame budget, which is why optimized scripts are critical. You're competing for a very limited resource. This means that most of your scripts should run in the single digits mark during normal or idle operation. In reality, most well-optimized scripts run between 0.00 and 0.05 milliseconds, which is excellent. But when you see scripts consistently using one milliseconds or more, that's when you start having problems because they're eating up too much of your frame budget. All right, let's start using Resource Monitor. First, press F8 to open Client Console. You can open Resource Monitor by typing in Resmon 1 and turn it off with Resmon 0. Alternatively, you can open it through Tools, Performance, Resource Monitor. Here's a scenario. After scrolling 5M Resource Monitor, I have found an example shop script is taking huge amount of resources, around five milliseconds per frame. Even after flying away from the shop, the result is the same. Let's take a look at the code to see the issues. The main idea of this loop is to go through all shop locations and track player's location. If player is near one of the stores, draw a marker and start listening for player input to open shop menu. But there are several ways to optimize the performance. First off, we don't need to know player's location every frame. 100 milliseconds is enough. Here's another issue. Player's PED ID and its location are being tracked for every single shop. We should move this logic out of the loop. Additionally, printing to console can get expensive pretty fast, especially when trying printing every single frame. Let's get rid of it. As you can see now, the script runs at around 0.05 milliseconds in shop and 0.01 milliseconds outside. That's an optimized script. Now let's talk about the network event log, a powerful but often overlooked diagnostic tool in 5M. You can access it by pressing F8 to open the console and navigating to the Network Events tab. This log shows you every network event being triggered in real time, both client to server and server to client. When you open the network event log, you'll see a list of events with their destination, either client or server, frequency, and data size. Let's launch a poorly optimized script again. Pay attention to events firing multiple times per second. These are your prime suspects for optimization. As you can see, network events are being completely spammed, tanking both client and server performance. Remember, every trigger has a cost and that cost multiplies with player count. And those are the basics of 5M Dev Tools, essential knowledge for any serious script developer. Understanding resource monitor, network events, and performance metrics will help you build better, more optimized resources that your players will appreciate. If you're looking for high quality, optimized 5M scripts that put these principles into practice, check out Lith Studios at lith.store. We create premium scripts for ESX, QBCORE, and standalone frameworks all built with performance in mind. Thanks for watching and happy developing.